There it is. Probably another wheat penny. Um. Yep, it's a wheat penny. There's the back. Alright, cool. And I just got an Indian head penny. I don't know the date yet, but that's awesome. Um, I've been getting a ton of uh, Indian, uh, not Indian, wheat pennies. And they come out really nice. Well, they're toasted, but they're really thick as if they were dropped like right away. But that's awesome. That is sick. Earl R. Homan. Homan. Okay. Well then. So I'm working around this tree. I got some more. Got a wheat penny or two. And uh. Oh shit. I thought that was something else. Oh, it is. Nah, I mean, never mind. Got a piece of lead here, like a melted lead. And I popped this spoon out. And I wasn't going to dig it, but I did. And I'm kind of glad I did. I think it's a silver plated spoon. Sounded like a, oh, a little higher, kind of around goldish, like a button, a small button. But yeah, that's cool, that's a full spoon. Like a little jelly spoon or something. I'm not gonna put that in my pocket, I don't wanna break it. See what it cleans up to be. All right guys, this is my wrap up for that previous hunt. Sorry I didn't get much um, filming in but I didn't know it was going to be pretty cool. So, yeah, I was also hunting with people, so I didn't want to lose my cool, if you know what I mean. But I got some finds, obviously. I made a video on cleaning the coins because they're really corroded, and might as well just two burns with one stone. So before we get to those, which I'm very pleased with, we got about a little, like, 75 cents in clad. Got this little block thing. Got these two things, still to his company. So this is an old um, building company. It's still around. I didn't research this yet. It's a tag. Got some odds and ends. Got this spoon. Cleaned up decently well. I thought it was, looks pretty awesome. Might give this to a guy. He might like it. He might not. Some pool tabs. A little piece of pottery. And enough with the boring stuff. Here are the coins, all cleaned up. Start off with the terrible one. I tried cleaning this one by boiling hydrogen peroxide. Don't recommend that. I think it was a 1927. And speaking of 1927s, I got three 1927s. One 1944, that was the latest one. 1910, a 1919S, which is pretty cool. I like that one. And two 1909, no mint mark, no VDB, wee pennies. And they're pretty awesome. <laughs> Very happy to have them. I'll show you close ups at the end. And this is the Indian Head Penny. It's an 1889. And it cleaned up decently well. So yeah, there's my first hunt of the year. And I hope everyone has good luck. The new 2016. And thanks for watching.